Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Josh back here with another video. Today I'm going to be making a barbecue out of a propane cylinder. Uh, I'm having an early birthday in about two weeks because my fiance is going somewhere, but we're having a we're having an early birthday, which I'm really looking forward to. So today I'm going to be making a barbecue for that out of a propane cylinder. Um, I didn't video record opening the cylinder because I don't condone doing it. If you do, do it at your own risk. Uh, it's got nothing to do with me. So I didn't show you how I opened it. Yep, so anyway, hope you all enjoy the video.
Alright, so we've got a bit of a burn going on. Um, what I did is I uh, we couldn't put the brackets here to hold it, so what I did is I uh, drilled and tapped. I welded a piece of metal on underneath, just like he did in this video, and I tapped through. I didn't really want to do that because it might distort, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. But I was going to put some thingies, uh, turn clips on over here so it'd hold, but it won't because of them legs. Um, and over here to hold down the mesh What I did is I don't know how well you can see that I don't really want to get too close to it on my camera is I've drilled holes through here and I've put little pieces of metal and some bolts to hold that down So when we're turning stakes or whatever, it's not making a difference um, So it shouldn't be a problem. All I'm doing now is I'm burning off the paint uh, burn some wood different little bits and yeah um, be ready to just grind it all off and then uh get some paint on there yeah I also kind of forgot to mention uh, this is working pretty well this vent there is a bit of a gap which I don't like for when I'm smoking but it's not too bad it sticks a bit but altogether not too bad for a first attempt so I'm quite happy with that yeah paints coming off lovely so yeah let's get to burning <laughs> So I've not really done much since last time. I got this uh, welded on. Uh, this is a Rubik's twist, which you can see in a video. I'll see if I can get a link to that. I made that. Um, so we used the Rubik's twist as a handle. I just welded that on there. And um, we had a few problems uh, with the taps, the tapped holes. They weren't coming out. Um, the, 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 the heat had distorted it, I think. So what we did is we just welded uh, this in we welded that in and then this we had this tap, but it didn't work So what we've done is we've just um, put some washes on there put a bit of bar so it kind of turns uh, it, it, it seems to work really well, but we'll tell when we got the barbecue on there um, Yeah, it works really nicely so far. So yeah, I'm really happy with this how it's turning out All we need to do now is spray it and uh, we're finished So, there's the barbecue done. I have really, really enjoyed making this, and I think I am going to make some more in the future, maybe out of a 47 kilogram cylinder instead. Um, it's been fantastic. Uh, I've learned a lot about welding. Welding to this was a really difficult. It kept blowing through, even on the right settings, and I have no idea why. Maybe one of you can answer that question for me. Um, I couldn't get a nice weld on it. I couldn't get a good looking weld on it, and it was just awful. Um, but I, I really needed the practice. I'm no great welder by any stretch of the imagination, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I want to say a big thank you for Tufty for helping me in certain points of this, which I didn't completely understand, and for doing some of the work on some of the clips I recorded. He really helped me out that way so I could get some nice recording and some good clips for y'all in this video. So, big thank you for Paul. Um, yeah, I really love the uh, Rubik's Twist handle we put on there. I think it really finished. This vent's turned out okay, it's not great, but it's turned out okay. Um, it's going to be a nice smoker, uh, and it's going to be a great barbecue. I'm really looking forward to using this. Um, yeah, so I've really enjoyed this project, and it's taught, me a, it's taught me a lot, it really has. So I'm looking forward to doing more in the future. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, check me out on my social links which will be in the description below on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. 
all them links will be all them links will be in the description below also if you want to feel free to check out more of my work please feel free to check me out at www.jrwoodandmetal.co.uk that link will be in the description below too hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one Oh,